this is 831 here and we're looking to find VL zero plus and VC zero plus. And we have this constant voltage source, but then we have a unit step function over here. So that means that, that this source here is zero for T less than zero and two if T is greater than zero. So zero if T is less than zero, two if t is greater than zero. So let's analyze this circuit for t is equal to zero minus. Now if we take a look at the circuit, this is off, this is zero. So what we have, this will act like a short circuit and we'll have our resistor and this will act like an open circuit. So we have here, open circuit, and, and then we have our voltage source here, 50 volts. Now this is 10 ohms, this is 40 ohms, and we'll call this IL, and this is VC, and then we have VL over here as well. And for this circuit here, we know VC here, VC, by doing a voltage divider, a voltage divider. VC at zero minus is equal to 40 ohms divided by 40 plus 10 plus 10, 40 plus 10, times our 50 volts. And that is four fifths, so that is, uh, comes out to be, VC is 40 volts. Okay, and since that's a capacitor, we also know that that is VC zero plus, okay, is this 40 volts. So that's what we need to know there. And IL, IL, our current here through the inductor at zero minus is equal to our 50 volts divided by the total resistance, which is 50. So that is equal to one amp, one amp. And because that's an inductor, we also know that that is equal to I L zero plus. Okay, so we have these two values here. And now let's go on to look at, at the time zero plus, zero plus. So at the time equals zero plus, we have a different circuit where the current source is now on and then we have the inductor. Let me draw that again. The inductor. And then we have the oh, resistor there, resistor and capacitor. And lastly, our voltage source here which is 50 volts. Okay, now we have this circuit. Oh, I forgot the other resistor. There's another resistor here. And that is 10 ohms. This is 40 ohms. And the inductor is 0.5 Henry. And we have the voltage across the inductor. And the capacitor is one farad. And this is the voltage across the capacitor. So this is the circuit we have, and this is two amps. And, oh, this is C. 
C, L and C. So what we want to look at is what is the voltage of the capacitor at zero plus? Well, we already have that answer. That's this. Okay, so we know that this here is 40 volts. This is equal to 40 volts here. Now we know the current here, IL, is one amp, one amp here. So what we want to know is um, what is the voltage across here? What is the voltage across here? Okay. One more thing that we know is the current here, the current is equal to one amp. One amp. Because we have two coming in, one going this way, and that means one must be going that way. So let's perform KVL around this loop. We'll do KVL starting right here. We're doing KVL. Um, so we go from negative to positive, negative to positive here. That is a, we count that as negative VL. And then we have positive to negative, that is one amp times our 40 ohms. And then from here to here, we know that's positive to negative, so that's positive, and that is 40 volts. And that gets us around the loop, and we know that is equal to zero. So if we solve for this, this is 40, this is 40. Um, so that comes out to be that VL is at zero plus equals 80 volts. And that is our answer, our answers to this problem.